For as long as humans have been able to write, written word has been one thing that has allowed people to not only get their thoughts down, but to expand their imagination and really call forward what they want in the future into the now. So in this video, I wanna teach you a journaling technique that I've been using to help call my future self into the present and start to actually create my life around that. And if you haven't already yet, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. Let's dive into it. Now, journaling for me has been one of the most impactful things that I've ever done. The reason being, there's so much going on up here and no one else can see it. And I know this happens with you as well. But when we have a notebook, we can write down and get these thoughts out. And we can actually shape and shift the way that we start to think and the different patterns that we go down to. See, that means that you don't have to just be a victim to your mind and your current life anymore. And you can start to pull forward what is actually happening in the future. Jordan Peterson calls this self-authoring, but there's so many different ways that we can do it. And in this video, I just wanna share the one technique that I've been using. So every morning, I like to get the clutter out of my brain with journaling. I'm not doing morning pages, which is writing three full pages of just anything on the mind. But what I start to do is start by first decluttering, getting whatever is on my mind out. And maybe that's a half page, maybe it is three pages. And then from there, actually writing like I was writing a journal entry in a day, six months from now, a year from now, two years from now, three years from now, talking about all the amazing things that I'm expressing gratitude in my life. It's a simple exercise, but it's one that anybody can do to start to actually pave the way for where they are going to go in their life. It's no more guesswork. It's no more, oh, I woke up and now I'm back into this shitty place. I checked Instagram. I'm not as good as these people. But instead, it's a way for you to actually shift your thoughts. And shifting thoughts is the first way to start to call into your life these different things because how you act is how you always act. And if you don't shift how you act towards people, towards people online, towards whatever it may be, then you'll never going to get the feedback that you actually want to get to the life where you need to be. And so by putting these thoughts down and by starting to write out who you are now six months in the future, who you are now, what goals that you've done, everything that you've done, then you're not going to have that on the forefront of the mind. And if your goals aren't on the forefront of your mind, then you're not going to start to pursue those goals, get to those goals, keep those goals in mind and use those goals as your North Star, which allows you to live and function and do things every day. It's essentially a way to open up the imagination and make sure that you aren't just sitting there, oh, I got this today. I only make this much. I can't make any more. But instead, how would you spend a million dollars? Maybe that's a journal prompt for one of your days. If you had a tax-free million dollars, what would you do with it? How would you spend it? Because think about that. A lot of people won't know how to spend a million dollars or use it effectively or maybe you are investing it, maybe you are buying a house, even on a house, you're just putting down the down payment. You're not gonna pay for the whole house in cash up front because that's almost an illogical fallacy. But instead, you do a down payment, you pay it off a little, now you still have, okay, $900,000 left. What do you do with the rest of the money? Another journal prompt that might be good is writing down your top three goals and then write down those goals again like you already achieved them and you're expressing gratitude. The goal of using journaling to pull your future self into the now is to make sure that you're the one telling the narrative of your story, not the environment around you. And by doing that, you can get to where you want to go so much more effortlessly without friction and in knowingness. If this video helped you in any way, make sure to drop below what you're trying to pull into the now. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future.